and I'm so excited to see you again. This week is all about pirates. Arr! We're gonna have so much fun with some songs and some stories and a craft. It's going to be a lot of fun. Are you ready to get to it? I am. But what are we gonna do first that we always do every week? We're going to have our hello song. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? Yay! How are you feeling today? Yeah, I feel the same sometimes. Today, I'm feeling very piratey. Urgh. So now we're gonna have our first book. This one is called Pinkalicious and the Pirates. On Sunday morning, a seagull landed on my windowsill. It had a note in its beak. The note was from my friend Aqua. Aqua is a mermini. A mermini is a miniature mermaid. That afternoon, Peter and I went to the cove. We brought our beach toys because Aqua loves to play. Aqua, Aqua, I called. I didn't see Aqua anywhere. Wow, look at that, said Peter. He pointed to a ship in the cove. There were two men on the deck. They don't look like regular sailors, I said. That's because it's a pirate ship, Peter said. The pirates were yelling, er, mine are better, yelled one. Er, mine are much better, yelled the other. I'm scared, Peter said. I shivered. I was also scared. Suddenly I heard a noise. Eee! It was a scream and it was coming from the ship. That sounds like Aqua, I said. She must have been captured by the evil pirates. Yikes, said Peter. I hope they don't make her walk the plank. I knew I had to be brave. Aqua won't walk the plank, I said, because we're going to save her. Peter went pale. What about the pirates, I asked. I looked at my kite. It gave me an idea. I shared my plan with Peter. I tried to fly my kite, but the wind was very strong. Help me, I said to Peter. He held the kite string with me. Together we ran towards the ship. Suddenly the kite was swept up by the wind. Kites ahoy, I said. My kite flew into the pirates and tangled them all up just as I had I'd planned. Arr, yelled the pirates, we're stuck. Peter and I waded through the water and sneaked up the ship's ladder. Peter put his buckets over the pirate's head. Blindly, I can't see, said the captain. Quick, we have to find Aqua, said Peter. We looked everywhere for Aqua, but all we saw was a parrot. The parrot landed on my shoulder. Cookie, it screamed. Cookie! My eyes widened. It was the scream we'd heard before. Peter glared at me. That is not Aqua, he said. Oh dear, I said. Heave ho, let's go, the pirates yelled. What do we do, Peter squeaked. Suddenly, I heard a familiar voice. Ahoy, Pinkalicious! It was Aqua. Sorry I'm late, I've been looking for you two. Aqua called up from the ocean. Did you meet my friend, Captain Pinkbeard? Your friend, I repeated. Uh-oh, blimey, said Peter. Quickly, we set the pirates free. We're good pirates, they told us. Then why were you yelling before, I asked Captain Pinkbeard. The first mate and I were having a disagreement, he said. The captain opened a treasure chest. A yummy smell came out of it. The chest was filled with cookies. The pirates baked the best treats on the high seas, said Aqua. What was your disagreement about, I asked. I think our new cookie should have pink sprinkles, said the captain. Well, I like purple sprinkles, said the first mate. You're in luck, said Peter. Pinkalicious is a cookie expert. We went down to the galley where the pirates made, pirates made cookies, decorated the cookies with pink and purple sprinkles. You can never have too many sprinkles, I said. The pirates tasted my cookies. That's true, said Captain Pinkbeard. Cookies for everyone, said Captain Pinkbeard. 
Now your cookies are perfect just the way they are, I said. Yay! So now we're gonna have some songs about pirates. And our first song, you'll know it when you hear it because it sounds like if you're happy and you know it. But it's about pirates. Are you ready? Okay. If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck. If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck. If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the sea winds blowing. If you're a pirate and you'll know it, swab the deck. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank, stomp, stomp. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank, stomp, stomp. If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the sea winds blowing. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank, stomp, stomp. If you're a pirate and you know it, look for treasure. If you're a pirate and you know it, look for treasure. If you're a pirate and you know it, and then you'll hear the sea wind blowing. If you're a pirate and you know it, look for treasure. Ooh! If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy. If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy. If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the sea winds blowing. If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy. do another song, poem, different kind of thing. Are you ready? Okay. Five pirates on a treasure chest. One jumped off and four are left. Four pirates on a treasure chest. One slid off and there are three are left. Three pirates on a treasure chest. One was pushed off and two were left. Two pirates on a treasure chest. One fell down and one was left. One pirate on a treasure chest. He climbed down and then there were none. No pirates on a treasure chest. Yo ho ho, now it's all mine. Yay! Okay, so now we're going to do a song about a pirate, a lazy pirate. Are you ready? Okay. What shall we do with the lazy pirate? What shall we do with the lazy pirate? What shall we do with the lazy pirate? Early in the morning, Walk the plank and splash in the water. Walk the plank and splash in the water. Walk the plank, splash in the water. Early in the morning. Yay! So now we are going to make a craft. So take a look at what you might need. For this craft, you will need bingo dabbers or paint sticks or markers, a piece of paper for the body of your pirate, scissors, glue, and a googly eye. If you don't have a googly eye, you can always draw it. Okay, do you have all your things? Are you ready to make? Or you can watch me make it and then you can make it later. Okay. So first we have our piece of paper in whatever color you want. I just picked pink because I like pink. And this is going to be the face, the main face part. So you're going to take your hand and you're going to trace your hand on the paper. And then you're going to cut out your hand.
cut cut. Almost done. Okay, so now you have your hand. So we're gonna turn it upside down so everything's pointing down. So what we're going to do is your bottom fingers from your hand are going to be his beard. So we want to find a color for our beard, a color. I'm picking brown. So you're gonna color the fingertips of the hand. And then you're just gonna round it out so it looks more like his beard. You can use paint, you can use markers, whatever you wish. So let's go like this, like this. So he's got a beard. Put my cap back on. So now I'm going to color in his hat. And so your thumb is going to be the side of his hat. So sometimes parrots, they wear almost like a bandana on their heads and the little bow goes on the side. So that's what we're gonna do. Then it looks like that. So it looks like this. So I have a red hat and his beard. So now I'm going to make some face parts. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my googly eye and I'm gonna put one on because on the other eye, I'm gonna put a patch. So I'm gonna take some of my glue stick, glue stick, and put it so that I can put my googly eye on on a big part of it. There we go. So I have my googly eye on. And then I'm going to take my black marker and sort of just draw a patch. So it's gonna look a bit like that. And then I'm going to draw a nose and a mouth. Like that. And then I think I might put some dots on his hat because sometimes I see they're red and they might have dots on them. So I'm going to take my white and just put some dots on his hat. And there you go. You've got your pirate. He's very cool. So now my area is very dirty. And what do we need to do? We need to clean up. And we're going to sing our clean up song. Clean up, clean up everybody everywhere clean up clean up everybody do their share so i'm gonna put all my stuff back and then put my little thing up i put my pirate right there okay just clean up some of the paint so i don't get it on my hands and we're ready to go so now we are going to have our second book this one is called Prince and the Pirate. Prince ruled a small round kingdom. He admired his majestic castle and rode in his bubbling carriage, feeling happy indeed. Simply squiddy. Pirate ruled a small round sea. He sailed his schooner and guarded his bubbling treasure chest, feeling jolly as a jellyfish. Yo ho ho! happy and jolly until the dreadful journey. Unhand me, demanded the prince. 
Ivy Hornswoggled, howled the pirate. And the doubly dreadful plop. But a bit later, when Prince was feeling fit as a fiddler crab, he realized he now ruled a large kingdom with corners. Behold, I am the rightful heir to this splendiferous kingdom. Pirate, feeling frisky enough to hoist the mainsail, he now ruled a large sea with corners. Shiver me tail fin, I'd be just the pirate to command this grand sea. Quite happy and keen to explore, anchors away and oh so jolly until Prince detected an uninvited guest and Pirate spied someone come to plunder his treasure. Halt, peasant, Prince ordered. You're trespassing in my kingdom. Avast ye scurvy sea slug, pirate growled. These here waters be mine. Cheeky cod, Prince cried. You shall address me as your royal highness. Aye, aye, your royal hiney, Prince jeered. Prince threw pirate in the dungeon, but pirate made a daring escape. Pirate forced Prince to walk the swim, to swim the plank, but Prince bravely kept on swimming. Ye best be keeping clear of my treasure, Pirate Bell bellowed. Egad, keep your filthy fins off my carriage, Prince exclaimed. You miserable mollusk, ye worm-eaten pig leg. At last, Prince and Pirate laid a line of white pebbles down the middle of the tank. Pirate pushed it. Shift, shove, jostle, jiggle, nudge, poke. At long last, across a wobbly white line, Prince sneered at Pirate. Pirate gave Prince the stink eye. Time moved like a snail until an unexpected arrival. Soggy scones, Prince groaned, another intruder. Barnacle bloomers, Prince, Prince, Pirate grumbled, another treasure hunter. Tumbling in, tail over fin, came a lost little dogfish. Poor Poochie, Prince crooned, don't be frightened. He darted about, then ducked inside his house. Come on, pup, Pirate coaxed. It'll be all right. Prince swished aboard his carriage. Here, boy, let's have a nice ride round my kingdom. Come sniff out all the treasure in my grand sea, Pirate called. The dogfish looked at Prince, at Pirate, and stayed put. But we are friendly. We be friendly, Pirate boomed. We're having loads of fun, Prince hollowed. Yar, a whale of a time. At long last, Pirate fellow, Prince said, what say you? I say, scuttle the line, your royal hiney, me hearty. Flick, fling, flick, pitch, hurl, chuck. The dogfish dashed out to chase pebbles, burbling bubbles, and prince and pirate. He will be fine, be a fine little scallywagger, prince declared. He's a uh, feisty fin, prince whooped. With the lively little dogfish, prince and pirate cavorted from castle to schooner, corner to corner to corner. Happy by golly, so thar she blows jolly, and the teeniest bit tuckered out. Yay! So now we're gonna have some more songs about pirates. Okay, so I know that you'll know this song, because we're gonna start the same, and that kind of changes to have more pirate stuff in it. It's Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Are you ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat far across the sea. Heave ho, heave ho, that's the life for me. Row, row, row your boat far across the sea. Help, there is a pirate ship heading straight for me. Row, row, row your boat quickly back to shore. Merrily, 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 safe at last once more. Yay! Are we ready for the next one? Okay, more pirates. Ready? Okay. Five pirates heading out to the shore. One jumped overboard and now there are five. Four. Four pirates heading out to sea. One stole the captain's gold. And now there are three. Three pirates, not a lot to do. One was made to walk the plank. And now there are two. 
two pirates having lots of fun. One drank the first mate's juice, and now there is one. One pirate sitting in the sun. He decided to abandon ship, and now there are none. Yay! So now we're gonna do a song that sounds like five little ducks went out one day, but it's about pirates. Are we ready? Okay. Five little pirates went out one day over the seas and far away. The captain said, yo, ho, 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 but only four little pirates came home. Four little pirates went out one day over the seas and far away. The captain said, yo, ho, 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 but only three little pirates came home. Three little pirates went out one day over the seas and far away. Captain said, yo, ho, 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 but only two little pirates came home. Two little pirates went out one day over the sea and far away. The captain said, yo, ho, 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 but only one little pirate came home. One little pirate went out one day over the seas and far away. The captain said, yo, ho, 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 but no little pirates came home. Sad captain went out one day over the seas and far away. Sad captain said, yo, ho, ho, ho. And all the five little pirates came home. Yay! So now we're going to read our third book. And this one is called, Are Pirates Polite? Let's see. By Corin Damis and Artemis Rohert. Pirates are unruly and pirates love to fight, but pirates still say please and thanks because pirates are polite. Pirates shout outside on deck while counting pirate gold, but use their inside voices when they're meeting in the hold. Pirates plunder lots of ships, but don't forget their duty. They always call out thank you for all their stolen booty. Sharing is what pirates do when they find a treasure. To make sure shares are equal, they, their parrots help them measure. Pirate parrots can't be stopped from parroting and squawking. But pirates never interrupt when another person's talking. Pirates like their privacy when doing something private, so they knock on doors and don't barge in on any other pirate. Pirates think you're weird if you've washed your face or hair but they always show respect and never point or stare. While pirates are in battle, to push ahead is fine, but when it's time to board the boat, pirates wait in line. When pirates dine at dinner, they're never ever rude. Even scallywags keep their mouths shut when they chew their food. While pirates feast on chowder, they try hard not to slurp, and they always say, excuse me, every time they burp. If a pirate bumps another, I'm sorry, he will say, instead of, you rapscallion, get thee from my way. Pirates love to duel with swordplay of all sorts. But at the end, they say, good fight, because pirates are good sports. Yay! So now we're going to sing our goodbye song, and we will see you next week. The day is done and we had fun. The day is done and we had fun. We'll see you again next week. But for now, the day is done. Bye guys, I'll see you later.